Welcome everybody to yet another episode of the Dahona Society uh, Welfare Talks. Uh, my name is Simon Kissenfeger. I'm the global brand ambassador of Alta Tequila. I'm your host today. And I'm having a very, very special guest today who is representing a bar which has a special place in my heart because I lived in the city of Cartagena. It's the bar of Alquimico. And yeah, I have Juan representing the whole crew and also in my opinion, representing Colombia and South America because what you guys have achieved is really amazing. So I think Alquimico don't need an extra in introduction. Normally I will do it anyways because I believe you deserve it. Uh, this year, if I'm not wrong, you made it the first time or last year into the top 50 of the world. And not only that, you were a finalist of the Entrepreneur Award. Of course, all your bartenders, the most of them, they're always amongst the top bartenders in the competitions <laughs> in the country. That's right. And not only that, you also won the award for the most yeah. sustainable bar in the world. So yeah, really, I, it's a real honor for me to have you today here. And yeah, Juan, welcome. Hi, Simon. Man, it's a pleasure for me. It's every, we're all in Alchemico feel really honored about it. Feel really honored about uh, all of this introduction. Um, you already put on top of, 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 of shoulders the responsibility to be, to, to be there, represent a whole country and a whole cultural scene of the country. Uh, we accepted uh, really humble um, uh, with all the responsibilities that he had uh, between them. Um, and yes, I'm Juan. I'm a bartender and content creator here in Alchimico. I'm really proud to be part of this team for longer than a year right now. And due to all of the, well, world-known circumstances about COVID and all this virus and stuff, we have the opportunity to live uh, a really interesting and different uh, approach to the hospitality during our experience in the project from the bar to the farm. So. Thank you so much again for the invitation and well simon i i i'm, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a really nice and 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 an and interesting conversation right now totally totally so thanks again for taking your precious time to give us an inside view in to how one of the best bars of the world operating during this time during the pandemic situation and you already mentioned it the from the bar to the farm project which we will have a inside view today and I'm gonna make you spit all the beans so um, it's a phenomenal project like in the last weeks I had the chance to to dive into it and it's it's an amazing project thank you so much that you guys uh, doing that so step by step let's first I mean you introduced yourself already uh, let's start a bit on Alchemico in general um, the name where does the name derive from well, um, alchemico comes from alchemy. Alchemy is an ancient practice where these people that used to be known as magicians, as uh, witchcrafters, or uh, then scientists start to travel and explore all around the world, seeking for the best and the rarest and the and the exotic ingredients, and try to transform it into uh, different uh, formulas. And and uh, and well, they're looking for for uh, the way to can make gold that was like the first approach of the alchemy but by accident and all these processes and experiments they discover a lot of stuff that we still use today in medicine matter in essences and flavor extraction and all the stuff so that's what alchemical stands for we like to think that we took the best of colombia and transform it into liquid uh, experiences and, and, and experimental experiences that the people uh, enjoy night, uh, night by night uh, behind the bar and in all of our three floors. And I, and I guess you guys delivering it, or I know it for a fact, as I was living seven months in Cartagena, and I always recommend you guys because it is a bar with a really special vibe. Uh, you have three floors, you have different concepts in the floors, and it's always like really amazing to feel this energy and also in the in between the team. I'm going to talk later or ask you later a bit about the team chemistry. Um, I mean, yeah, you have three different floors, right? And 
maybe quickly yeah. get us an insight about the three different floors. I remember uh, you guys had an amazing ceviche. I hope you're still serving it. We still have it. Uh, we still have it. Waiting for you. This, our ceviche is waiting for you. It's, a, it's an amazing <laughs> piece, so yeah. Well, yeah, uh, long story short, we have three floors, three bars, three different concept, concepts and menus. Uh, and the first floor we just released like a month ago or something like that, a new, uh, a brand new menu, which is called Los Colores de Colombia, uh, Colors of Colombia. Uh, the whole team took around uh, eight specific places of uh, our country and extract the Pantone of all of these places. So, um, and we try to represent the different um, ingredients, uh, ways to be personalities that this exactly, this, this exactly uh, places. And those are represented in these eight cocktails. Um, as I'm telling you, we just released this menu uh, a month ago. Um, we tried. And we're, yeah, yeah. And, and there are, those are amazing cocktails. If I can make a recommendation, you can try our Santa Cruz cocktail. It's my personal favorite. And it represents in a most populated island in the world that we have here in Colombia, which is a really small uh, part of land, but it's packed with people. Um, but it's really cheerful and colorful and amazing. And all of the stories behind the cocktails are, are pretty, pretty interesting. I love the second floor. On the second floor, we have a concept which is called Alchemia Classica or, or Classic Alchemy. Uh, I, I, I gotta confess that this one is my favorite menu of the whole house. We make a lot of experimentation with chemistry and different uh, techniques that we, let's say, steal from the from the kitchen and other disciplines, and apply it to classic cocktails. But to make our version and on, on, uh, our own version and vision of a classic cocktails, I really think that this 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 menu goes farther than just a twist of a classic because we really really like. Uh, take the, the classic cocktails and put it to its minimal expression and then build it back in a whole new uh, expression of textures, colors, flavors, sensations. And it's an awesome, awesome, awesome cocktail menu. I'm going to give you my recommendation of this floor. It got to be the Oaxacan Old Fashion, an amazing mixture that was created uh, a few years ago in Dead and Coin, New York. But we make our own version and we, we're really proud of it. Um, so so that's the impact from Oaxaca, so this is like, yeah. <laughs> How do you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like a tequila and mezcal guy, so I think that that's a proper recommendation for you. By the way, hence why you guys are wondering what I'm drinking. Uh, my agave yeah. sister, Max Miller, she just made me a um, fantastic agave martini. Um, it's my recommendation for you guys, like, if you feel for... We, we want to try it. We want to try it. Behind we start... Can't wait to have you here at the distillery. Um, I, gotta, I gotta say to the people uh, that be before we start the, the, this conversation, Max was uh, around. Exactly. And he told us about the agave martini, and it seems delicious. It seems like a pretty cool drink that we uh, we have to try, all of us. After the pandemic. Um, um, of, yeah. course, which, of course. Uh, which already brings us to the, the next topic. But you quickly describe the third floor. So Okay, third floor, really, really quick describe. Yeah. We took 10 animals, 10 endangered Colombian animals, are thinking about their behavior, comportment, color, diet, a lot of stuff. We designed this menu, which is called Magia Salvaje, Wild Magic, and it's a uh, it's a tribute to our species in Colombia. And well, that's how it works. Love it, love it. I love this is what melts my heart. Like to see uh, how close and how how you consider everything. Like you know that it's not just hey, we are here, we are doing awesome drinks. No, you really look behind the curtains, which brings us to. A topic we are talking today about from the bar to the farm so of course we are in a very critical times right now and yeah tell me how do you came up with it or let's first give our viewers the chance to understand a bit closer what is this project in the cafeteria region if i'm not not wrong right well it's 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 pretty awesome that we talk about this in March because a year ago, exactly a year ago, I don't know in other countries, but at least in Colombia, everything closed on March. I think it was pretty much all around the world. With us as well. Uh, I remember, we, we, we had like a guest bartending in my bar and we were like, okay, yeah. we heard about the virus. And then a week later, that was it. Like Everything is closed and we was, all think there's going to be a matter of maybe two weeks, maybe a month. And then it was in Colombia, seven months uh, closed as uh, well. Um, in Alchemical, we were looking uh, to a 
way to have a positive impact in our range of action with uh, the agricultural communities around us. And we start to, to you know, like play around with this. And we, we, we contact different foundations that work with people that have these eco-friendly agricultural practices and start to buy in some of the ingredients for them. And on August 2019, uh, Alchemical got, got the farm, but we had like three people working on it. And it, it, was, it was first thing like a long-term project, you know? Then we have all of this pandemic stuff. We, we spent a couple months uh, at our houses, uh, studying, developing new strategies from the bar, always with the hope that we, we will be back again. Um, on April the 15th, something like that, uh, Jean, the owner of Alchemical called each one of us and said, you know what, I got this idea. I, I can build a house for us in a farm. Uh, you got an open invitation to go, come living with us in, uh, there yeah. and learn together about countryside working. I mean, it was like a hell of a decision to, to take, if I'm honest. I can imagine. Yeah, you have, definitely. Like, man, it, it was not, like, you're yeah. telling me, you're telling me that uh, I'm going to travel half of my country, live with other 21 people around, and learning all of this really hard work that represents the work in the countryside, man, it was a, it was a challenge. And I think something that um, it's pretty common between all of the people that work that works here in Alchemico is we love challenges right. and we love to get challenged. Um, then we took the decision and, and go ahead with that. And we pretty much uh, reached to the farm without knowing or having a single clue about anything that had to do with the work. And uh, we have these amazing people, uh, Orlando and Andres, yeah. which are the people that already work in the farm and all, his, all of their lives, they were working in, 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 in the countryside. So they start to teach us how to pick up a shovel, how to put a plan, how to uh, be by the way, smart. In yeah. by, uh, by the way, guys, like if you want to know more about this project, uh, you guys, you started this amazing uh, short video <laughs> session. You are actually the star of, of the, the show, I would say. I mean, it's you mentioned it also, it's the team, but yeah. um, it's amazing. Like, I really enjoyed it. And I, I actually got like goosebumps when I watched it because it's super cool. Everyone, like, first of all, starting. think about it. Thank Maybe you. Maybe go through it. You have different uh, sectors, right? Like, I would yeah. love to know about a couple. I wrote down a couple, which I... I I want you to explain us, like um, the re reforestation project, for example, right? Well, reforestation project, we got a 25 acres or 10 hectares uh, uh, piece of land, and we designate four of them just to, uh, okay, our farm used to be used for, for, um, for uh, how, how is it in English, ganaderia, uh, for uh, cows. Yeah. I, I just forgot the word. And this is one of the practices that is more aggressive and with the biggest uh, carbon footprint in the world. Mm -hmm. So all of their land was really, really harmed uh, for 50 years of this work in there. So we designate uh, this really huge extension of land. It's not, and it's not plain. We're talking about mountains there uh, to plant uh, native uh, trees species. And we start with 300, which is, the, the story I told you in, in, in the series, in, 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 the, in the chapter bucket list. Nice. But at, at the end of the day, it was 4,000 uh, new trees that we put in, in, on, 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 on our farm. And we're expecting like in 15, maybe 20 years, it's gonna be a whole new forest there. Oh. And just like all of the sustainable initiatives that we and everyone around the world is making, it's not thinking about us and our presence. We're thinking about the people that is gonna be on this planet in the future and they can keep it going in, in the future. And Thank this is much. pretty much in a nutshell how the reforestation project works. Amazing. Thank you. Really, thank you so much. When I saw that, I was like, wow. And, and you also mentioned like you have to plant one tree in your life, right? It's one of the lifetime achievements. Yeah, I've, I've told, okay, at least you have to, be, to plant one tree. We have the fortunate to, to, to plant 4,000 and it's amazing. Really amazing. Um, yeah, there, was like the artisan production of panela, no? Was it? Was yeah. And the bee well, farm. Like, so, so, so what you guys, what I understood, you guys try to give more healthy 
um, ideas than like like re refined sugars or like mega health. That's, that's right. Amazing. One of the projects that we have in the midterm is to try to eliminate the refined sugar from our uh, cocktail program. Uh, and one of the initiatives that we make around it is to play with uh, honey and panela as well. Uh, with panela, we start to work with a Colombian company that uh, have a really artisanal process of, of making panela. By the way, 350,000 families in Colombia depends on the panela production directly, and 500,000 families depend indirectly from the panela production, which is what that means that in Colombia is a really huge matter. Uh, there's a lot of political stuff that I'm not going to talk about right now, yeah. but we're trying to, to, to put in the eye of the people all around the world the stuff, uh, the, the, the think about the importance of panela and the importance of the use of panela, but more than that, the importance of buying local products and support local entrepreneurs. All the time, but most now, uh, man, we're in the middle of a pandemic. People from our uh, neighborhood and people from our country need to to we to buy their products. So that's uh, one of the different motivations that we have at the moment to start making this uh, panela project. Uh, in the farm, we, we buried some uh, sugarcane trees. It's gonna be ready in around a year right now. It, it takes 18 months, but already past seven months. So when they're ready, we start make our own alchemical panela and, and, and sugarcane honey. Uh, and that's pretty awesome. I can't wait, if I'm honest. Amazing. And how does it work? Like if I wanna, wanna join like the, the farm or have an inside view, want to work with you guys? Like, is it like a, a aim for you guys maybe to, to offer it for bartenders around the world or to learn more or yeah? yeah. Cool. That's a project. Actually, it's a, a good friend of us, Audrey, at um, this moment during the farm. I just talked um, to her actually part... two weeks ago. <laughs> I met her in Guadalajara and, and yeah, she told me about it, that she, she's, she's visiting, so cool. And the, and, and the main project is like when it, there's like more freedom to travel around, there's a chance for people all around the world to travel to Colombia, to the Coffee Act, Noah Farm. Uh, we have enough space and, 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 a, and a comfy bed for you, but uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna be vacations. You're gonna be waking up at 4 a.m. and start to work and learn with us uh, all of the farm processes. But I can say I, I live the whole experience, and it's a life changing experience. And we Thank want you. to share it with bartenders and people from the A and B industry all around the world. I bet, I bet it's amazing. I, I like I'm a person. I'm very close to nature. Uh, I'm doing I'm only local stuff, no matter where I am. The first thing is I'm going to the local market, check out the fruit. Is it like whatever, uh, if you're on the ocean, what's the local catch of the day? You always, in my opinion, you need to adapt and that not at all. You don't, you don't, go, you don't, you don't go to eat to order fish in the mountains. You, you don't order fish in the mountains. You... So it's, it's cheaper and it's fresher and it's the and local, it's fresher. The, That's the, right. footprint. So. Awesome, Re really, really awesome. And um, I'm beyond thrilled again that we, we have this talk today and, and also that it gets spread out into the world. Um, like without, with the Tono Society, uh, we are the world's uh, educational program about all about tequila and also it, it fits the Altus values, you know, like what, what we do with our competition. I hope uh, Colombia one day will be part of it as well. And I believe though, uh, no, it, it, it was already part in, uh, two years ago of the of the Taona Society competition. So hopefully one day one of you guys will will win the the project and come. I hope so. We hope so. We hope so. We, uh, there's some bartenders here that really love to come to, to compete, and uh, we'll be proud of be part of Taona Society in the in the nearly future. Right. And obviously you you guys do your own uh, fertilizers as well, right? And I've yeah. seen in the video in one of the videos as well that you might do like a beer? Might be, might be. Um, like it's a like project a... we have and we want to have, uh, <laughs> there's going to be something interesting about beer, but I want to, to make a special uh, episode of From the Bar to the Farm when, yeah, when, yeah, when yeah, this yeah, all is, is set up. So yeah. I'm not going to talk a bit much about it. I'm not going right to let now. you spit all the beans. <laughs> but yeah, guys, by the way, like again, as I said, uh, check them out on Instagram, on Facebook, 
send them a like they deserve it and they're, they're the amazing videos uh like i really enjoy them and and you really deserve the title like most sustainable buy in the world i mean it's huge it's a huge title and i think you are the second or is it the third time this this award was uh, given like i know the the guys in himcook in norway i i live there and really it's it's not just fake project which are elected no it's it's amazing to see that these are projects which that's for real. make an impact on the world um, that's for real. yeah yes so what would you say was the most valuable thing uh, you guys or the guys from this your staff took from from this experience living on the bar and yourself as well like and i i heard yeah. what you said like the respect for the farmers nature but yeah well actually we make an episode about it in the 100 days special when we talk yeah. about how this experience changes uh i think well you know all of the farm the countryside experience was amazing but i, I i'm pretty sure that all of my partners here in alchemico are we agree with this the personal growing was the most significant part and when we talk about sustainability we understand that it's a 360 degrees concept it's not only about no way you know it's not only about working with uh, with farmers it's about how how you change and how you live this uh, experience change you so I'm going to take the personal growing and, 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 and the personal change of tea lives and, and, and our industry around the world. Uh, yeah, it, it, we're different people right now and uh, seven months after this uh, farm experience. Love it. This is one of the, the advices I can get every bartender. Like now, of course, we, everything is slowed down. But when we are in regular life, we know how it is. It's a hectic life. And the best thing is like some rock star bartenders doing competition every week, doing shifts every week. Uh, Tons of information and everyone and you get the shift and you got everything and you got this wildlife. Um, 100%. My advice always is like take a day off, grab your, your tent, go out in the, in the forest and, and connect to nature. And it's so good. It gives me the most inspiration. I love to do that. And open your eyes. You had an amazing world around you. It's not exactly. only, I mean, we love the bar. We love the night. We love all, all of this. Okay, we don't have to discuss about it. But you know, you had a, a, a wonderful oh, planet I mean, around you. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Take the best of it. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing out there. Um, yeah, I know for a fact that you guys like um, having a drink on your menu, which you might present for me right now. Uh, which is connected to the to the whole concept, right? Would you be so kind and explain me a little bit about it? Well, yeah. Um, the team of the bar, uh, we designed this cocktail, which is called Resilio. Uh, Resilio was the first project that we have to work in with the local farmers around Cartagena, not the Coffee Axe project, it's Cartagena. And it came from resilience. You know, it came from all of this capacity that all of the humans have to uh, step over the, all of the bad circumstances. So we designed this cocktail to make um, uh, um, to make people know that we're proud about all of the spirit we got at the farm and right. using the the the, 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 the the farm ingredients. So it's based with, uh, of course, Altos Tequila, and it has a uh, meat gonna, uh, and buried, right? So was that uh, Andre is going to prepare it, pre prepare? Yeah, prepare. right now Andre is making is making the cocktail for us. Uh, mm -hmm. He's our head bartender here. He's in charge of all of the crazy scientist stuff behind Alchemico, and uh, he's uh, what, what can I say? I love this guy. Nice. Uh, he so. designed this cocktail with uh, with Alto Tequila. He's making it with a uh, meat or a fermented honey, but it's aromatized with coffee from honey from our farm. Mm -hmm. and and coffee from our farm and it used gooseberry which is a, a fruit that maybe is not popular in europe and other and other places but here in colombia oh. it's widely known i'm pretty sure you simon know about it and it has um, a tincture with made with the leaves of limon mandarino limon mandarino is a hybrid from lime and clementine but it's a natural hybrid and the leaves of these trees, just like many of the citrus trees, it's really rich in aroma. So we make a process with it, and uh, it gives you this citrus perfume, 
uh, and it's amazing and it's inspiring in our, in our farm and it's inspiring in, in, in our experience. And by magic, I, I'm going to have it in my hand in a couple of seconds uh, so I can make a toast with you, uh, Simon, for Resilio, for this amazing conversation and all of this stuff. So cheers. Before my uh, amazing agave margarita is gone, salute. And again, really thank you so much for this inspirational talk. Like, it is something which really, really makes me happy. Again, I cannot repeat myself often enough. Um, sounds like an amazing drink. I can't wait to try it and do maybe a guest shift with you guys or go to the cafeteria region. I, I have been there, seen some, obviously. Uh, Nuestra casa es tu casa, my friend. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Yeah, and amazing. Thank you so much. And same with me. You know, guys, by the way, uh, where I am right now is in the distillery. And we have like facilities now, 11 rooms always a different scene. I'm in the Maestro Tequilero room, which is a big honor for me. Jesus Hernandez uh, is looking at me here from the portrait. I'm going to do a little tour in a bit. Uh, so you see uh, the agave this field. in my room. And, yeah. Who's this guy in my room? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, his son just opened an amazing bar also in Guadalajara. I'm going to do a guest bartending. Um, yeah. Let me know maybe any advice you would give someone who, who wants to, to have an impact, impact on the world, who wants to do something good for our environment and, and start a project, like maybe not like you guys on a big scale or on a small scale, but how would you start it? Like, would you first get in touch with, with guys, as you mentioned, guys who have the knowledge, or would you just start it and yeah. Because it's also like, you know, all the paperwork, I guess, which is around. This is not just like, uh, it's a 360 project, which you mentioned and you have to get in touch. So what would be your, your advice? Like, how would you start? Where would you well, end? First of all, there's no small efforts. There's not a six, exist a small effort. That's what we that. think right, right now in the past world. If, like. <laughs> if you took the initiative to try to make a positive impact in your community, then you are a revolutionary man because you're going against the flow and, and it's not easy to go in against the flow. Sustainability is an expensive track. It's a track full of obstacles. It's a track that most of the people around not understand and they start to understand it just when they see the results of it. And we're not talking about awards. We're not talking about this uh, amazing but superficial stuff we're talking about the core of the of, of the sustainability project and, and positive impact in in your community that is your set to change life so for example if any of your ingredients of the elements that you have in your bar or in your yeah in your bar of restaurant can be made with the people of your own community maybe you're not gonna pay millions of dollars and change these people's lives. But hold on, you start to build this networking that put on the map, maybe some great initiatives, ingredients yeah. and it's bread. Or, or, or stuff. Bread. Yeah. You, you start to spread it. So yeah. there's no small, you're making a, a baby step, but a bunch of baby steps at the end of the, of, of the day makes a huge difference. So the, 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 the piece of advice that I can make you, I, I can give you guys is just start. I'm pretty sure everywhere around your, your, your bars, you have the, the, somebody that is making something really interesting that worth to be into your cocktail or food program. Hundred Go with them. Three, brother. And start yeah. with that. You don't have to buy a farm. You don't have to do anything. Listen you just have to start with stand. something that have a real impact in your community. That's yep. the way to start it. Yep. Guys, listen to this wise man and these wise words, like start doing something. Spread it. Don't put bullshit on Instagram, Facebook, social media. Spread the good thing. Don't Spread give the good thing. What anyone else thinks about you. Not, not everyone needs to see your big bikini pictures or your muscle pictures from the gym. No. Spread the good. <laughs> and don't worry okay, about and, likes. And Simon, another stuff. I don't know how is the situation in your particular countries, the people who is watching us right now, yeah. but don't expect for the government to help you at the first time. It's not about yourself, yes. not by yourself. Then all of the people that have the power and the money to help you out, if they want to, they will do it. But you have the, 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 
you'll be chilled about, you know, just start by yourself, by your own, with your own resources, with your own networking. I mean, bartenders, we are famous all around the world because we can have amazing conversations with total strangers. And at, by the end of the night, make these people our best friend in the world. Apply that to the people w w where you want to work with. And then, then all of the ads and the, and the stuff is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to be arriving. But start by yourself. It's the, it's the best. The best, thing, the best way to start. Totally. 100% agree. Um, maybe very quick, can you tell us like how will the future of this project look like? Because you're telling me like about a lot of trees, a lot of different things. What is if the bar is like back to 100%, you know, that you're, um, you know, you need all the bartenders in Alchemico, or are you going to do like a program one week you're at the farm, one week there? Like, give us an inside view. Are you going to hire people who are going to look after the farm? Well, of course, we already have people living in the farm, uh, Andres and Orlando and, and our, our kitchen boss, our, our chief. Like, you know, you, you, you live there and then you're like, oh, let me go to, to, uh, to my ship tonight, 15 hours later, <laughs> right? You know? No. no, 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 no. Okay, there's already people living there, de developing and taking care of all of the programs that we started seven months ago. Uh, I'm thinking about new ways to, to, to take the best part of this beautiful land, beautiful ground we have there. Um, right now, the project is in maintenance stage, right. if that makes sense. I mean, Absolutely. we're just taking care of what we start a year ago. We're just taking care of it because maybe it's obviously, but maybe, maybe it's kind of obvious, but uh, the, the bees doesn't start to give us honey immediately. You got to take care of them. And a year before, they're going to start giving us honey. Sugar cane, the same thing, 18 months. The coffee, six years. The sugar cane, 18 months. The reforestation, 15 to 20 years. What about uh, agave? What about the agave? Problem? Well, we found agave and agave. Actually, we don't, we don't put it there to make our tequila or mezcal or something like that. We put mm -hmm. it because it's, you need a this plant is really attractive to, to the bees. The bees got really attracted by that. And when you have a bee project, a beekeeping project, you got to put a lot of uh, different flora around so they can uh, search and, and seek their food from them. Otherwise, the, the, the bees, which are amazing animals, I really learn about a, a lot about them. They just fly away. I mean, there's no food around, I go. Yeah. So when you put, when you have a, a beekeeping project, you have to put a lot of different uh, flowers and different plants around so you can yeah. have, uh, you can guarantee that these animals have uh, a, a, a food source close to them. Gotcha. But gotcha. yeah, right now it's taking care of what we start. It, it's a project right now. Okay, yeah, cool. So you, it, it's a steady process and like not that easy. It's like the pandemic. We cannot forecast um, how it is, but it is an amazing impact you guys do, which like we are almost at the end, but I have like another question as I, as I mentioned in the beginning. Um, I felt always when I visit you guys, like there is a special vibe within the team. There's a super bond. Um, everyone seems to be very happy. Um, how do you, do you have any in initiatives to keep the health within the team? Like, you know, do you have the, any, how do you maintain the, the level? Like, do you have any, any advices or how do you guys do it? Well, uh, first of all, um, Alchemical is an amazing place to work because when you have a talent or a, or, or a passion, I mean, I started to become a journalist like 10 years ago. Yeah. And when I present the idea of create this web series from the bar to the farm, who end up being the name of the whole project from the bar to the farm, <laughs> man, you're, 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 you're investing in people's talent. But that about myself, but... Andre, our bar manager, loves all of this chemistry, chemi chemistry stuff, and he knows how to apply it to the bar. And we have people that uh, knows uh, and study management uh, careers at college, so they part of the management team. So you're not like covering a shift from 16 to 2 a.m. and just like stand there making cocktails or on the cash or whatever. You you, you really feel that the, the company of the, uh, of the bar that you're working for are actually investing in your talent. Of course, to have some profit out of it, but at the end of the day, this is a business and we're not going to put sugar on that fact that we are a business. Love it. But 
when you feel that the people around appreciate, respect, and invest in your talent, that give you really certain, uh, like, th that sensation that you are in the right place. You know what I mean? I totally know. On the other side, uh, well, our food, before we start the, the shift, is uh, based on a vegetarian diet. And I'm, I, Juan, I am, the, I am the, 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 the living proof about how vegetables are good for, for you. Uh, I lost 80 pounds in the bar, in the farm. And I totally changed my, 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 my food habits because of that. Super and, uh, and we try to uh, always share, you know, in every bar in the world, there's people that had a little bit more of experience and a little bit that just starting on the industry. And we always trying to have a, a spot in the week, uh, a couple of times a week, that we can share information to the people that just starting and mm -hmm. so they can totally understand important. and fall in love with the industry. So all of these programs make Tokiniko a great place to work. We actually have this like um, welfare series actually, where we have uh, focusing on different topics like uh, yoga, uh, outdoor activities, food, like a healthy diet. And it's so important That's that right. we added more uh, to the industry. And Amazing. Get away from this rockstar bartender image. You need to get- I always, <laughs> I always say something. I have 14 years working in this industry and I'll, I always see, say something to these guys, you know, 19 years old, 20, 20 years old. I'm, I'm telling them, guys, you got to have, you got to have, if you work in this industry, you got to have a hobby that have nothing to do with hospitality. Right. You have to make yoga. You got to do exercise. You got to go to the beach. You got to paint. You got to, I don't know, whatever you like, but, it's important to us because our lives are night. You know, we don't, we, we, we're not living a normal way. The human body is designed to live in the day, totally sleep in the night. And if you don't have like this solid ground behind, uh, uh, under your feet or something that takes you back to, to have a proper life, well, the results are not that positive at the end of that exercise. And I always say the people that, 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 that works in the, and start working that on, on this industry, you gotta have a, 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 a new a hobby, music, whatever you like, but something that disconnect you and, 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 and you can have like a proper rest. And then you came to the work with the whole energy. And, and I think, well, it works for me at some point. Right. So um, I'm gonna get your quick, <laughs> I'm going to quickly show you the room, you guys, because I hope, Please. and I know you will be here one day, sooner or later. I hope. It, we're it, gonna it, it, will, be, it will happen. It will happen. Take you to the fields, and we're going to grab a core and, like, shave these agaves. <laughs> so you see the whole process. Um, I need to do that. And now we know how to do it. Now, now, now we know how to work with a machete and a koa. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, it will be interesting. I'm going to do and show you that. I'm having my... A little camera here so we have nice paintings here we have like flowers and every room is like in a different uh yeah in a, here we have like the maestro tequilero every this room is gorgeous, has a different uh, topic which uh we highlight and the one is like the himadores i'm gonna put you in the himadores room <laughs> please please let's go take me there And outside we have the agave fields. I don't know if you can actually see them from here, but you can get a, a short uh, idea. Um, Juan, any, any thoughts about the, the future of, of uh, our industry? Will we back get to soon? What do you think like very quickly? It's not never gonna be the same. Yes, I agree. We got to set up our mains our, 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 to this new reality and think ahead, not thinking what it used to be, it's how it's going to be the future. Uh, of course, I think people are going to be able to travel again. People uh, we, we will be able to, to share again and not only by these uh, virtual platforms, but uh, I see a bright future. Human being is uh, really, uh, we're experts on, on, on rebuild, rebuild ourselves out of the bad circumstances, it's not going to be the same. It's going to be better. I agree. So yes, I love it. It's a matter I of time. It. I love it. I love your positivity. 
I'm truly thankful for this inspirational talk. And I wish all bartenders would have that mindset, all bar owners, all, all industry guys. What I can say is like, <laughs> mucho amor. I brought my, my <laughs> Colombian shirt with me because, yeah, I have only love for you guys. Um, mucho amor is my bar in Germany, which I have as a side project also. And we're focusing on similar things as you guys. It's not it's that great. big, but maybe it will be one day. Um, it was really a pleasure to talk with you today. Um, it was a pleasure for me as well, Simon. It was a, a, a lovely conversation. Yeah, I can't wait to be back with you guys. And is there anything else you 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 want to add? When when you're gonna be behind the bar here in Alchemical in one of our Lunes de Industria, sharing your Altos Coastal with us, and of course. Uh, raising some resilience up and, 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 and having a great night and enjoying nice. the rebirth of our industry and, 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 and the rebirth of the third golden era of the cocktails. Maybe I can uh, bring my brother Dre with me and that would be amazing. Like as soon as the situation is That would be lovely. Um, I promise you as soon as I can, I will be there. Thank you so much and like uh, have a fantastic day. Say hi to the whole crew and stay okay. motivated and keep going the good work like truly thank you so much Samuel, it was amazing thank you so much to all the altos family and uh, well respect for all of you guys who are watching us here in alchemy code to can share uh, a special moment with you awesome thanks so much